guys, it's Annie here from The Anxious Triathlete, and today I wanted to do a video on one of the most basic basics of swimming. So basic, like I'm not even going to talk about actually swimming in a pool. Uh, today's video is on how to select and put on a swim cap. And that might seem really silly, but when I was first starting to train for a triathlon, I wasn't a swimmer whatsoever. Uh, I could like float. Basically, I could not drown. That's that's how I swam. But the whole like putting my face in the water and like having to str I had no idea, no idea what I was doing. So I've learned a lot since then. And today I wanted to share with you a little bit of knowledge just to help you ease your anxiety going to the pool for the first time. First off, we have to select our swim cap. Uh, you'll see sort of two main types of swim caps out on the market. You've got a latex swim cap and a silicone swim cap. And the difference is that the latex you'll see is, is a lot thinner. Um, these are the race caps that you'll get if you actually sign up for a triathlon. Um, they give them to you for free, so there's a perk of your entry fee. They're, uh, like I said, really thin. You can sort of see through it there, which means they're fragile. They don't last very long, um, but they're great to sort of throw these in your swim bag just in case your swim cap rips. You've always got an extra one. A silicone swim cap is a lot thicker, a um, lot more durable, more expensive, uh, but will last you a lot longer. So you can see this is like much more stretchy. I can pull on it a little bit more. Um, it's a little bit thicker, more insulated. And you can pick these up at any big box store, Target, Walmart has them, um, and of course any sporting goods store will have them. So now that we've got our swim cap selected, um, if you are a lady like me with really long hair, you gotta do something about this situation. My favorite way um, to do my hair before I go swim is to put it in a French braid. So I'm gonna put my hair up real quick. Hold please. Remember, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be functional. Okay, so you may also want to flip the tail up of your braid and then like stick a couple bobby pins in there just to hold it up on top of your head. Um, it'll make getting your swim cap on easier as you're practicing how to do this. So next step, I'm gonna put on my swim cap and to do this, I'm gonna make my hands into like a little like steeple. Did you ever do that? Like church and a steeple thing? Sorry, sidebar. Okay, so I'm gonna make my hands into a little steeple, put them into the swim cap, and I'm gonna use my hands to stretch the cap over my head. I got my hands in there, like this. Uh, and I'm gonna use the back first. I'm gonna put it on back to front. So I'm gonna flip my head up. And I'm going to stretch it on from back to the front. And then it gives a nice satisfying smack. Okay. It's on, yay. All right, now, since I have the silicone cap, I can be a, a little rougher on it. I'm still gonna be as gentle as possible. The main thing is to try to keep your nails from getting into the cap too much because you can really easily split it or put a finger through it and then the cap's useless and you have to throw it away. So sort of gently roll it over your fingers and then stick your other hand up there and like get your hair all situated. So push your hair up, fix your ears. Make sure uh, everything's secure. I hate the feeling of having like hair outside of my swim cap moving around against my skin. It drives me crazy. So it's one of those things I really pay attention to before I get in the pool. Okay, and then personal preference, whether you want the cap uh, over your ears or under, it's all about what's comfortable for you. There's no right or wrong way. Um, I like to have it under, even though it pushes my ears out and makes me look like an elf, but <laughs> Uh, but for me, I don't like having the cap over my ears. I don't like it covering my ears. Um, I feel like it messes with my equilibrium uh, and my ability to like hear. So I just tuck it behind and, and deal with the goofy ears. And then I put my goggles on over my cap. Um, some people will put the goggles on underneath so they have the strap underneath the cap. Uh, again, personal preference. Some people say that when you're racing, it can be helpful to have the goggles on underneath your cap because if you get like jostled at all, um, it helps hold the goggles on. I've never had a problem with that, so I always race with my goggles on the outside of my cap. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section, or you can email me at theanxioustriathlete at gmail.com. Happy swimming! Bye!